Hi everyone, Sarah Goss here, captain of the Blackfern Sevens. Thank you so much for everyone who took the time out to comment some questions. Here's some that stood out to me. How did you first get into rugby? So for me, I was 13 years old at Fielding High School and it was Rob Jones, who uh, my coach at the time, who got me into playing and it's because of why I play today. What's the most challenging thing about being a Blackfern Sevens captain? For me, it was about earning the respect of the players and the management. I knew that if I was going to be a captain, I needed to earn their respect and it made sure that everything flowed from on the field to off the field. Name one sporting person you would love to meet. For me, it was Serena Williams, and I was fortunate enough to meet her at the 2016 Olympic Games in the dining hall. I was so scared. Um, she, she allowed us to have a photo, which was also exciting, but obviously she was busy because she took photos with about 20 other people that night as well. How long do you train for and how many times a week? For us, it's, it's a, uh, we have to train all the time. We train about six times a week, and um, for five days of those weeks, we train twice a day. Uh, we also count our, I suppose, our recovery day as a training day because we have to make sure that we're getting physio, we've got rehab, we do stretches. Um, so it's a pretty long um, and intense training schedule, but I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. What do you love about the game of sevens? I love sevens because it's so exciting. It's so different to every other sport. You have to be fit, strong, and you have to be mentally skillful. For us, we travel around the world, so it's really hard to make sure that you're getting used to different time zones. Um, you're not, you not, don't necessarily get the food that you want to eat because it's all in a hotel and all the, foods are, all the teams are together. So that makes it challenging as well. So for us, um, the mental game and the mental side of Sevens is um, extremely challenging, but that's why, what makes Sevens so exciting. Do you think anyone can make it big time, even if they're from a little city? Hell yeah. I know that you can make it big time from wherever you live, wherever you live around the world, in New Zealand, or wherever. For me, I grew up in a small town, a little country village, that <coughs> no one from there had, um, I suppose, had been to an Olympic Games or a Commonwealth Games, but I knew that I had a passion for rugby uh, and a passion for sevens, and uh, nothing was going to stop me. No barriers, no obstacles. Um, my family were a huge supportive of that. Um, and then also I just I cling to people who are going to help me and make me better and I think that's why I've, what's helped me uh, achieve my goals from such a small town. Who inspires you to keep going when times get tough? For me the most important people who keep inspiring me are my friends and family, uh, the ones that are always at home sending me messages, I'm FaceTiming them constantly because I know that they're going to help me. Whether they give me good stuff or bad, I know that it's um, to help me with my game but also the biggest people are my teammates and my sisters. For without them, I, knew, I know that we wouldn't be able to achieve what we do on the field, but then we also have some amazing um, friendships and uh, I suppose amazing things to do outside of rugby as well. How happy were you when you first found out you would be captain, where you would captain the first ever Commonwealth Games sevens team? I was so excited. It was a dream come to, not just to captain the team, but just to be a part of such an amazing and special um, environment. For us, we were able to be part of not just the Blackfern Sevens team, but also the wider Olympic New Zealand team. And that, I suppose, what makes it even more special, because you get to rub shoulders with amazing athletes who have achieved on the world stage. Um, but for us to be able to play at a Commonwealth Games um, after an Olympic Games, has been the, one of the most amazing memories I'll, I'll ever cherish and um, to be able to run out at a stadium and for us there were so many Kiwi supporters there because uh, it was so close to New Zealand made it even more special. Did anyone ever say you can't play rugby because it's a boys sport? Yeah I've had so many doubters to say that you shouldn't be playing rugby, um, it's a male dominated sport you will never be able to make a career out of it. It will never be uh, for women. It is not a woman's game. But for me, I don't care what those kind of people say. It makes me want to achieve more. It makes me want to break down so many more barriers. And I know that me and my teammates are trying to do that and trying to make it a worldwide sport that anyone can play, whether you're male or female, because for us, rugby is for everyone. What do you eat before a game? 
Uh, for me it's I suppose like I said before it's quite challenging to see what you can eat or what you can't because when we're in a hotel full of teams um, we just get given a buffet meal and you just got to try and work out what's best for you. For me I always try and look for a porridge option. Obviously it's um, slow burning energy so I know it's going to keep me um, keep me neutralised throughout the day uh, and then I also love eggs on toast whether it's scrambled, poached, um, fried, it doesn't worry me and also a couple of pieces of bread at the start of the day always helps me um, with the three games as well. Are there things about rugby that have now become part of your daily lifestyle that you wouldn't live without? Heaps of things um, that I've been exposed to in rugby has helped me and I now continue to do. Um, obviously daily habits of training, eating well, um, but then also cool things like being able to um, have lifelong friends like my sisters. Um, and for me it's even more special because a couple of my best mates are always on tour and they're going to be my bridesmaids at my wedding as well. And the last one. What is your advice to young girls wanting to pursue a career in rugby? For me, whatever career you want to go in, whatever passion you have, whatever dream you want to achieve, I know it's highly possible. For me, I had a little dream of wanting to play rugby as a professional career, and luckily enough for me, it became an Olympic sport and I was able to live this dream. I know that if you're passionate about it, you're hardworking, you will do everything you possibly can to achieve that dream. So keep at it, doesn't matter if you get negative vibes, just keep pushing through those barriers because you're going to achieve it anyway. Thank you to everyone who sent out questions and took the time to comment on our posts. I really appreciate it. I hope these answers help you with your goals and if you want to know anything else, just chuck it on my Insta.